Well, hey friends, I'm here in my kitchen because I'm gonna do a little bit of Christmas decorating in here and I wanted to take you along with me. So if you followed my channel for a while or if you watched any of my Christmas home tours, you will see that I always have a Christmas tree in my kitchen. Uh, it's not a large tree by any means. It's just one of those skinny kind of alpine Christmas trees. I like to keep it near my sink um, and I think it just brings like the prettiest glow to the kitchen. It's um, something that you see right away when you walk in our front door, which is just right there. Um, and yeah, I just want to take you through the process of how I am decorating it. Now I already have gone ahead and set the tree up. I have fluffed all of the branches no matter what you do when it comes to your Christmas trees or wreaths or any faux kind of um, picks or florals that you use anytime ever always fluff it makes the hugest difference and there's nothing sadder when it comes to a Christmas tree than an unfluffed tree like it's just ugh. so make sure that you fluff I went ahead and added a strand of Christmas lights as well. Um, I prefer to actually use the regular Christmas lights as opposed to like a strand of um, twinkle lights that you can find. I find that the Christmas lights are a much stronger presence on something like a miniature Christmas tree, like a little, uh, like an alpine tree. Um, the twinkle lights are better for vignettes and smaller kind of spaces. The lights are so much smaller, but uh, just go ahead and use the regular Christmas tree lights. I find that they work the best. And before you ever put lights on your tree, always make sure to test your light strands to make sure that they work. I forgot that little tip and I started to wind the lights around the tree and decided to test them and sure enough, half of the strand was burned out. So it would have been so frustrating to get through the whole process and find that the lights were burned out. So test first. Another tip when it comes to your lights is you want to make sure that you do your best to tuck the light strand itself deep into the tree. Now my tree is a really skinny tree. It's designed to look like there's not a lot of branches on it. So you're going to be able to see the light strands a little bit. We're going to work on hiding those. But if you have a fuller tree um, or even if you have an alpine tree like I do, do your best to disguise those wires by tucking them deep into the tree. Um, you can even encircle some of your branches if you have a larger tree um, and that will help hide some of the wires as well. So without further ado, let's start decorating. Okay, so here's a little look at the Christmas tree. You can see the trunk through it because it's just designed to be that way. Now this year I have placed the tree inside of this vintage crock um, in years past I've used like a white mixing bowl. I have also just left it on my counter and covered the base of the tree with fabric or a tea towel. But this year I did opt to put it in the crock and I have this um, black and white gingham uh, fabric and we had originally covered our dining room chairs with this like about four years ago um, but my kids were very little then and they got <laughs> the fabric very dirty and so we recovered the chairs and just actually washed this all the, <laughs> the stains came right out but now I use this often for decorating so this is just a chair a chair cover at one point um, I've added just a bit in here to give a little bit of an interest to the crock. Now, I have also, when it comes to my tree, I sometimes stick like a bag of rice or beans down here in the tree itself if it feels a little wobbly, and that helps stabilize it. This is like on a metal um, square base, and just putting some weight on top of that base will help keep the tree from wiggling. I was tempted to leave the tree as is because I really like the minimal look of having no decorations, but I can't leave well enough alone, so I decided to add a few picks. I picked these up several years ago. I actually think they may have come from the dollar store. Not 100%, but that's what I, I think it might have. I'm just going to tuck these into spaces that may need a little extra fullness. Don't forget to put some on the sides of your tree, especially if 
people will be able to see that side of the tree. Because this side of my tree will be up against a cupboard, I don't have to necessarily decorate the whole side, but I will put a couple of things um, just a little bit poking towards the back, but not fully. And because my picks have the snowball on them and it's quite prominent looking on the tree, I will go ahead and make sure that nothing is too in line with each other, that it's kind of staggered around so it gives the eye a nice place to rest on your tree. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and add a few little larger ornaments. I bought these little jingle bells. These came from the Dollar Tree a few years ago. I think you can still probably find something very similar there. But I'm going to go ahead and add these in places that are not too close to the snowballs. Again, because it is a round shape and it's very similar in color. These are silver, the balls are white, but in that same sort of color family, um, I'm going to make sure that I don't put anything too close together that would kind of match. of these really small snowflake ornaments. These came from a country decorating store and I have several of them. Um, they've got a bit of glitter on them and I'm going to go ahead and add these onto the tree as well. So next up I've got some of these white berry branches. I've had these for years and years. They came together in a bunch similar to this but over the years they've sort of just fallen apart as you can kind of see right here. Um, so I have a lot of individual branches and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tuck them into the tree and make it look like there is uh, falling snow on the tree. So I'm just kind of splaying everything out and I'm even tucking some of the um, alpine tree branches in between some of these strands so that it just will hold it number one but also it just kind of looks natural like they sort of just grew there or snow fell down on the tree. So because I don't have a grouping of anymore, I'm just going to take a few of the branches and kind of group them together and do the same thing. Next up, I'm going to add these snowflake ornaments. I have several of these. I picked them up at a country shop a few years ago. They have a bit of glitter on them, um, and I'm going to add them to the tree. They just really match the neutral theme that I've got going on in my kitchen, but also everything seems to have a bit of this sparkle on it, so it'll go good. two of these snowflake ornaments they have a corkscrew on the end and I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these into the tree too even though I only have two I think it'll give the tree just a little bit more visual interest I put one up here and the other over here so they're on opposite sides of the tree one's up higher and one's up lower I've got these teeny tiny little candy canes that I'm gonna add next they came again from another little country shop and I've got a whole bunch of them. And in my kitchen, I have little touches of red and candy canes throughout all of my decor. So these are just gonna tie in a teeny hit of red into my tree and that candy cane theme. So 
So last it's going to come to the tree topper itself. In years past I've used a black barn star. I've used this heavy snowflake ceramic uh, Christmas ornament. But this year I'm going to go with this wooden snowflake. There's a bit of glitter on it and that will just pick up with the glitter on the snowflakes as well as the other little bits of crystal glitter that I've got here in my kitchen. So it does have a little hook here on the back and I'm just going to secure it onto the top of the tree. Thank you guys so much for watching this little decorate with me video if you liked what you see please give the video a thumbs up we would love to have you here as part of the sweetly home family so if you want to hit that subscribe button that'd be awesome too um i hope you guys are having a lot of fun decorating for christmas i will see you in my next video bye